Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel, Simply Beautiful with Emma. This lovely lady here, this is Paula, and Paula won my competition that I ran on my Facebook and Instagram recently to come along and have a nice pamper. So Paula's had her nails done, she's had a facial, mm -hmm. um, and now we're going to do some makeup. And my little random number generator app that I use on competitions to find my winner was very kind, because some of you might know that Paula and I actually went to primary school together and play group together and and um, it was just my lucky day. So we've had a lovely morning chatting and now we're gonna do some makeup for you. I think I'm gonna start with a strong evening look because then when Paula goes on her everyday life after helping me out today, she's gonna to be going out with her um, more natural look. Now Paula is a natural beauty. Anybody who went to school with us knows that we all used to hate her because she was so pretty even though she'll deny it. But Paula actually um, runs a business with her partner now and they do these fantastic jet ski experiences out of Torquay down on the English Riviera. So Paula um, has been out and about and has caught the sun slightly unevenly, bless her. So I'm gonna start by prepping her skin, ready for foundation. So I'm gonna use here the, this one I quite like is a light, um, um, base and this is the prime time from Bare Minerals. Paula has really nice skin, she doesn't have open pores or particularly oily skin or particularly dry skin so really just a nice everyday concealer. Um, oh primer, works really nicely and one of the secrets of primers is to let everything soak in for a little bit okay so I'm going to be doing quite a dark eye on Paula because we're doing quite quite a dramatic look so I'm going to do her eyes first while her primer is settling in because then if any makeup falls onto her cheeks onto her foundation then I can clear it away much more easily so let us begin I have here this is like a child's paint box I love this this is from Makeup Revolution that I love, really, really affordable from Superdrug. And this is their Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette with 144 colors in it. Who, who's not gonna love one of those colors? So I'm gonna be doing the classic red lip, beautiful complexion, dark eye for Paula. So I think we're gonna start with a soft black. I've taken some soft black on my brush and because with the dark colour, we don't want to go in too harshly. I'm just tapping off the excess there. So, Paul, if you just turn around to face me a little bit, lovely. If you open your eye for me, okay, and close. Okay, so like I did in my step-by-step -step on my makeup the other day, I'm starting a little bit above the natural crease. Open your eye for me, Paula. So you can see that we can actually see the colour. So eyes closed. And really, I just want a nice, soft wash of colour. Now this is going to need a lot of blending, so this point I probably will speed up the video. So with a dark colour, any dark colour, whether it's black or dark brown or dark purple, always start with a little bit of colour because you can always add more. So eyes closed for me. Lovely. Okay, and then I'm going to pull that colour just softly down onto the lid. Okay, so eyes open for me. Beautiful. Now Paula has got beautiful brown eyes. So I'm gonna be working with cool shades because you might remember in the past, I said that if you have warm mahogany brown eyes, cool colors, so silvers and grays and purples work really nicely. If you have blue eyes like mine, cool blue eyes, warm colors like golds and browns bring out the best in them. So eyes closed. Lovely, okay. Eyes so we're now going to work at actually packing a little bit of a dark steely grey onto Paula's eye. So eyes closed. Because I want the colour quite strong, I'm actually patting it. Can you see? I'm actually patting it onto Paula's eye rather than sweeping across because we want the colour quite intense. Okay, 
Now, because that's the majority of the dark color, and I'm gonna go in and do more detail, um, I can add on to complexion, okay? Because there's less chance now of anything falling. So, I'm going to go in with my um, instant anti-age eraser, which they've changed the packaging, but this is one of my favorite products, the Maybelline Under Eye Concealer. Um, I had to buy a new one because my daughter pinched my other one. Look up for me. It's got a nice applicator. And I always say in every video I do, use more concealer than you think you need, okay? Because we want the concealer to conceal, we want it to cover. So looking up for me. And this one has a little bit of a yellow tone to it, a sort of a warm yellow tone, and that actually helps disguise the look of dark circles under the eyes as well. This um, ingredient, this formulation, actually helps plump out the fine lines and wrinkles as well. So we really just want it to settle on the skin for a minute. It's funny, I tend to use applicators on my face, but when I'm working with clients, I like to feel their skin, so I tend to use my fingers a little bit more. Okay, this one is a beauty blender, not a beauty blender the brand, but a, a beauty blender type applicator. Now these are 99p in Superdrug at the moment from B, B Dot, which is um, their own exclusive brand. So I'm gonna give it a bit of a run out to see if it is anywhere near as good as my more expensive um, sponges. So I'm gonna use that patting technique that I've used before. So you can see that, see that's starting to even out Paula's complexion already. Because Paula's really caught the sun on her forehead, I had two choices. I could either take her whole face as dark as where she's caught the sun, or I could lighten everything up and even it out. And my choice was to lighten everything up, even the skin tone out, and then add back in some warmth um, with bronzers and stuff. Because, because the, the evening look, we want to be a little bit more dramatic, so we want the skin tone to be a little bit lighter, um, and then that will give more emphasis to the colours. When I do the day look, we'll work with that nat nice natural golden colour that Paula's got. And the foundation I'm using, by the way, is the range that I actually use on my clients and I retail to my clients, the Pierre Rene Skin Balance Foundation. Okay, and then this, actually this sponge is really nice, so I can go back into where I've applied the under eye concealer and just even everything out. I can turn it around. It's quite nice having that little pointy edge. I'm pleasantly surprised actually for 99 pence with this applicator. I think the more expensive sponges I've got, they hold more moisture. And then when you squeeze them out, they still have a little bit of moisture in there. So they're slightly easier to blend with. But I would say that actually this is very workable for, for 99p. Okay, so I'm now gonna go back in with the pointy end with this concealer. Again, if Paul had any major flaws, if we had any blemishes or anything, then I would use a separate high pigmented concealer. But again, I just want to even out some little areas. So I'm just taking a little bit more of this concealer. Because Paula spends a fair amount of time out on the water now. So our nose always takes the brunt of the weather. Lovely. So you can see now that Paula's face matches her neck, which is a result. <laughs> right, so foundation is on, concealer is on. Okay, I'm now gonna set. 
So I'm going to, I've really fallen in love with this powder. If you watched my Glossy Box review, you might have seen this powder already. So while the foundation is damp or moist, I'm going to take a flat sponge, like a little, little latexy sponge, and I'm gonna pat. And then what I'm actually going to do, just look up for me, Paula. I'm actually gonna put excess under the eye because then when I, as I work further on Paula's dark eye look, if anything falls onto her cheek or under her eye, I should be able to just brush it away, okay? And again, always over apply your powder because if you have a good powder like this, it's all going to brush away, but we just really want that foundation nice and set because we are going for a look that we want to last all evening. Okay, if you close your eyes for me. So you can see if you get a good quality, really fine powder, it will just brush away. Okay, so we're gonna leave that under the eye for now. Now, when I've done and talked about eyeliner myself, I know I normally talk about using a felt tip eyeliner and I find that really good on myself and I recommend that for people to use on their cells. Don't ask me why, but when I'm doing makeup on my clients, I prefer to use a brush and a gel. So I've just picked this one up. It's the Maybelline 24 hour um, gel. I will put the description below and it actually comes with two brushes. It comes with a little teeny weeny fine brush and then as a sort of blending sponge. So I'm gonna give this one a go. So I'm gonna use the fine brush. So eyes closed for me. That's actually really easy to use because it's got a short brush head, okay? So it's not, you're not having to wrangle the brush too much. It's almost like using a pen or a pencil. Okay, eyes open for me. So we've done quite a fine line of eyeliner there. Okay, so eyes open for me. Because we're going for quite a dramatic effect, I'm gonna take that eyeliner right into the corner of Paula's eye. Eyes close for me. It's very easy then to go over and smooth that line out. Lovely. Now, I am going to be brave and attempt a winged eyeliner. I like doing it on myself, always makes me nervous doing it on someone else. So I'm going to follow my own rules that I talked about the other day. And I'm going to extend the line, trying to move my hand up towards Paula's eyebrow. So let's just move the camera a little bit closer. That's better. So can you see I've extended the line up towards Paula's eyebrow? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and fill in that angle a little bit. Can you open your eye for me? So we then have that nice flick. You have to close your eye though and see how it's gonna look with the eye closed and then you can play and extend that flick if you want to. What's nice actually with this product is, well, oh, I'm very close to the camera, um, is the brush makes it really easy. Okay, eyes open. There, so we've extended that flick out really nicely. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. You just look that way, Paula. Lovely, so just turn your head slightly. So I'm just gonna head up to where Paula's eyebrow naturally ends, okay? And then I'm going to fill in straight across. So to make that less of a, I think the word is acute angle. Lovely. You turn around to face me. Lovely. And then eyes closed. Lovely. Eyes open. Fabulous. And then depending on how dramatic you want the eye look to be, you can then go back, eyes closed for me, and slightly thicken the line. So depending on how brave you feel, okay? So there we have a nice cat eye. Just look at me. Beautiful. Okay, eyes closed. 
okay like this product okay what i'm going to do then is what i've got with a little bit of the gel i've got left actually i'm going to let that set for a second thinking about it because i want to do the underneath of paula's eye but if i get her looking up too much now she might transfer a bit of the color so i'm actually going to brush away now looking up for me that excess powder under paula's eye Okay, lovely, perfect. Right, I'm going to strengthen Paula's eyebrows a little bit. She has a really nice natural shape, but they're not that dark. And we could just do, if we're doing a full makeup look, we could just do with a little bit more brow. So I'm gonna use the Eyelore palette that I picked up from TK Maxx. Heads in the way of the camera. Okay, so if you look at the difference between one brow and the other, it's still where Paula has them. I'm not trying to create a different brow. It's just giving them a bit more strength and it balances out that strong brow look as well. So I'm just following her own natural shape. Okay, but now because we're playing. Let's go a little bit more dramatic. So you can see how easy it is to just add some definition. But there, we're just kind of, you know, Instagramming them up a little bit. So we're just extending them in slightly from where they naturally grow. And we're just making the most of every hair that's there. See, I love a dramatic one. There we go, okay? I love it. Right, we need a little bit of colour. Colour on them, their cheeks. So, I'm going to use my Vita Liberata um, bronzing powder, which I love on everybody. Um, I think I'll use the same brush that I used to dust off the setting powder. Again, very close to the camera, do apologise. So, I'm going to warm Paula's complexion up in general. We're then going to highlight using my new favourite highlighter, which is the Karl Lagerfeld um, collab with Model Co, which I love. And with bronzer, I like wearing lots of bronzer, but you have to apply it gradually, okay? As you can see, I've kind of I'm bronzed and highlighted and everything today. So we're looking a little bit more sort of natural definition around the cheeks. So we're going to highlight now. And I absolutely love, any of you that saw my Glossy Box review, um, I love this Karl Lagerfeld um, highlighter. It's so sort of creamy soft. It doesn't almost go on like a powder, it almost goes on like a cream. And it gives a really sophisticated gleam to the skin. It's not like a frosted sort of look. I just absolutely love it. It's got a very slight gold sheen to it, but you can wear it with a cool eye look like I'm doing with Paula as well, and it's not going to clash with it. I'm going to take it up underneath Paula's brows as well. And take some down the centre of her nose. Because unlike me, Paula has invisible pores. Don't know why I'm friends with her. Um, a little bit on the end of the nose. Cupid's bow, all our favourite places. Lovely. Loving that cheek. Can you see it? I'm going to let you see it. <laughs> it looks fabulous. So I'm just going to take a little bit 
more of the bronzing powder and I'm just going to sculpt into Paula's cheek just a fraction just to give her even more definition in her cheeks there we go I shouldn't squint at the camera I know and then around the other side so you can see that line there where her cheek is always room for more right okay because we're going nighttime look we're gonna go red lip I don't think I've ever seen you with a red lip would no. you not worry what normally wear a red, a red no. lip <laughs> great okay so lip pencil get my, get my head out of the way of the camera so lip pencil as I always tell everybody we point the pencil up okay if you're nervous about where to do your lip pencil just mark some dots along the way and then join up the dots, okay? If, if you're not sure how to shape the lip. You can just turn to face me, that's lovely. Okay, we don't have to get that pencil too perfect. I've tried to get the line on the outside perfect, but because we're gonna fill in with lipstick and we're gonna use a brush, it's kind of all gonna to blend together. So don't beat yourself up too much if you can't get a really, really thin line or, or straight line with the lip color. It's really something for the lipstick to anchor onto. And I would say, if you're going to wear a dramatic lip, put it on with a brush, okay? Just at the beginning of the night, you can take your, your lipstick out with you and touch up as the evening goes on. But if you're going to put the effort into a dramatic look, give it the justice it needs. Do it with a brush. Can you just slightly open your mouth? That's perfect. This is one of my favourite all-time lipsticks. Um, which one is this one? This is brilliant. This one is, I've got a thing. I'm very lucky because I've worked in department stores over the years and so I've had sort of staff discount and stuff. And I must admit for red lipsticks, I do love Chanel, which all sounds very ostentatious, but I've had these lipsticks for years and they are still good. So this one's brilliant. So it's actually, Quite a pinky red, I love it. There's also another one that I love called New York, New York, which is a real blue red, which is another favorite of mine. But because I want to keep this look quite modern, I wanted quite a bright pinky based red. And a red lip takes a bit of time. You've got to invest the time for a red lip because we want it right. And the other good thing about red lipstick is it will stain, okay? So even when it starts to wear off as the night goes on, it will stain, okay? Lovely. Check the teeth, make sure you've got any lipstick on your teeth. That little trick that I got taught is very good. You put your finger in your mouth and you pull your finger out and it takes away the excess lipstick inside your lips so it doesn't get stuck to your teeth. Mm -hmm. There you go. Right, um, let's do a final blend across the eye, eyes closed. And then when you've done your whole look and you've got your lips on and your complexion and stuff, if you want to go back then and go even more dramatic with the eye, you can, but sometimes it's nice to get everything just balanced up. So remember I said I was gonna go back in. So open your eye for me. And we're just gonna smudge out. I don't wanna go all the way in, but we're just gonna smudge out the corners of the eye. Okay, lovely. Okay, so we've just got a little bit more drama in those corners. If we wanted to, we could go all the way in, um, but I think that's a really pretty open look. 
What do you like? Do you think? Mm. Do you like it? Yeah. Little really good. Different. Well, it's a it's a lot more makeup than one I've, I've ever seen Paula <laughs> with. So I was a bit nervous because she is naturally very very beautiful. But actually, I'm kind of liking that look, yeah. and I'm just think. You don't have to, because I think sometimes with a red lipstick, um, contour and highlight is enough, but I'm just going to put a little hint of blusher just along the line of the cheek here, just to add a little bit more warmth. And there we go. There's our evening look. Let me let you have your hair back. <laughs> wow. Sass you up. Ooh. Loving it. Thank you so much, now onto the day look. Hi and welcome back to you, Simply Beautiful with Emma. You may have seen the previous video, which was our beautiful Paula going from au naturel to her evening look. And I was so excited and she looked so fabulous. We forgot to do mascara, didn't we? So, you know, who knows if you even need it? So we're gonna go now for um, a nice sort of golden beachy, oh, I just always look like this kind of look. Paula's lifestyle is sort of split between working in an office environment and being out on the water um, with her um, jet ski business with a partner. So we're gonna do a little look that's um, a little bit easier. We're not gonna use um, um, primers and, and, and too much of that because this is meant to be just quite a soft natural look that lets the skin breathe. So I'm still gonna use my Maybelline Holy Grail under eye concealer. Because nobody wants no dark circles. Okay, and I mentioned in the other video as well, when you use this product, don't worry if it looks a little bit cakey when you put it on. It's a water-based product. It has um, ingredients in there, there to actually help plump out the fine lines and it just needs a minute or two to settle into the skin. Okay, so we've concealed little dark circles. We're gonna use, oh, very close. We're gonna use um, mineral makeup this time. We're gonna use my Bare Minerals foundation. I've taken you through mineral makeup before, but basically we tap into the lid, okay? We swirl our brush. I did a little um, lesson with somebody the other day who actually had this foundation. I'd had it for a long time, wasn't getting any coverage with it, and she was being too gentle, okay? So when we say we buff, we actually buff. We want to see the skin moving underneath the brush because we want to polish this product into the skin, okay? Whoop. You close your eyes for me. So Paula's got a slightly uneven complexion because she is out on the water a lot. And um, she promises me she tried really hard not to get too sunburnt or too sun-kissed. But this will just even everything out. And what's nice about mineral foundation for a day when you're trying to be quick and easy is you're running out the house, you're busy, you've got umpteen things to do. You don't touch your makeup. Whereas with foundation and sponges and things, you know, there is a little bit of mess involved sometimes. With this, you just all over the face. If you just have a look at the camera now, you can see we're really starting to even out Paula's complexion. Okay, that would be enough on its own for an everyday look, but you know, this is me we're talking about. So, Paula's got to do her other role and, and do the school gate scene. And you know, we're both from Exmouth. She's going to the school gate in Exmouth. We've got to look good, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. right. Mineral makeup would be really good for you because it's so quick and easy. It's got a natural sun protection in there. Um, and you can just do it with one brush, okay? So um, like the full makeup we just did, I know isn't your always go-to, but something like mineral foundation would be perfect for you. And, and the more time you've got, the more you can apply. Eyes mm. closed for me. You can also, with mineral foundation, you can use it for concealing. So what you would actually do is pop your finger into the pot so we'll imagine a blemish on this flawless face, but you can actually pat more of the product onto an area as a concealer as well. So again, unless you have very obvious flaws, then mineral foundation could do all sorts of things, okay? I am going to return to my new favorite highlighter. Again, I know it's an everyday look, but you know, highlighter takes two seconds. 
They say if you do something 21 times, it becomes a habit. So if you put highlighter on every day for three weeks, it's a habit, you know. So we're just really gonna quickly gonna take it in that C shape, okay? People wonder where to put their highlighter. There we go. So we've just got that highlight on the cheek now, which just, when you're having a more simple makeup, it just looks like a healthy glow. We're not necessarily looking at sculpting the face. So I'm gonna use the same brush because we're doing a quick go-to, just cleaned it off on here. And I'm gonna go for a nice peachy soft blush. Okay, just look at me. And we're just gonna take it really onto the apples of the cheeks. So we've got that kind of soft, wonder how the lighting looks weird, hang on a sec. That's better. Now we can see. <laughs> Natural light is always best. So we can see now that lovely colour just on the apples of Paula's cheeks. And again, less is more, but we can just keep patting it until we get to that point. We've just got that nice, soft, natural glow. Because sometimes when you apply a natural look and you just apply a little bit of, of foundation, you sort of lose all your colour. So it's nice just to pop a little bit back on. Okay, we're gonna go for a nice soft look on the lip. I am gonna use a pencil, just to be pedantic, but you don't have to. And again, we're just gonna draw around the outer art lip, um, edge of the lips. I can hear my tutor at Beauty College. She said, don't breathe on the pencils. This is a very natural colour. This is Bitten Kiss from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and all it's doing is like creating a reservoir. When you use a very natural colour, you could go all over the, the lip, but you don't really need to. It's just giving a bit of a natural reservoir for the lipstick to stay inside of. Um, I'm gonna use, have you talked about this one before, the Colour Riche, really like this lipstick, super moisturising. Paula wants something because of her busy lifestyle that she can put on almost without a mirror. Okay, this one is super moisturising, super hydrating, a little wash of colour and glam, but you could almost put this on without a mirror. I'm not gonna use a brush this time, but you will feel this is a super, this is a Colour Riche lipstick, which has this amazing moisturising. Um, recipe. And this would be a really nice colour for you because it's just got a little bit of a gleam to it. It's a natural colour but with a little bit of a gleam. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little soft wash of colour on Paula's eyes. We're not going to do too, anything too dramatic. I'm going to take, I think, this colour here which is kind of like a slightly shimmery taupey shade which is sticking with the kind of goldy peachy look, but also because Paula's got brown eyes, it's got enough of a cool tone in there that's gonna really complement her eyes. So we're just gonna take that all over the lid. And because it's got a little bit of a gleam to it, it almost looks like you've kind of worked really hard to create a, a look, or actually it's just the natural contours of the eye picking up the light. Have your eyes open for me? So pretty, right. We are just going to, this is really good. I like this one, I've used this one a lot and I use it, I think in my videos quite a lot. It's the Brow Artist Plumper from L'Oreal. This one is like a little brow mascara. It's got quite a small brush, so you can get quite a lot of definition in there and it's got a little bit of fiber in there. Paula's got really tidy brows, but they're not particularly strong or full. And this one, for someone like Paula who's busy, you brush it through the brow so if you're not someone who wants to use a pencil or a powder or umpteen different products, this one actually thickens the look of the brow as well as leaving some colour in there. So if you see that, that's a really natural look, but it's just given a bit more definition to the brow. And again, this is a quick girl one because you don't need a separate brush or a separate tool. And what's nice is, you know, if you're going out and you want a stronger look, you can spend more time, you can use more pressure, leave more product on the brow. Let's have a look in my camera. Which side am I on that side? Doing everything reverse is quite weird. Okay. We're not going to go for eyeliner. 
because we've just got that nice soft gleam on the eye. We are going to remember mascara this time though. Now, talking to Paula, because again, her lifestyle a lot is out on the water and that is not kind to makeup. Um, something that I offer in my salon and, and is available obviously everywhere is a lash lift. And a lash lift, basically, it uses perming technology, believe it or not, to semi-permanently lift your lashes. So you, rather than seeing your lashes like that, you actually see your lashes lifted from the root. So something like that and a tint for you would be amazing. And I do a lot of lash lift for my clients. So you would actually wake up with a mascara look. That's the idea. And I'm not going to put mascara on the lower lashes because if you just want a soft everyday look, you don't want to be sweeping away all the time if your mascara starts traveling, which unless you use a waterproof mascara, which I'm not today, it almost always ends up traveling a little bit. So Paula's got lovely long lashes, but to have them curled would be lovely because it just means that you'd wake up and you'd be out on the jet ski, out on the rib, and you would actually have lashes. Okay, so just going to grab my eyeshadow brush. Just close your eyes, something that's it. And just blend out. Okay, so what we've used, just to recap, we used mineral foundation. We used that beautiful gold highlighter that I love, the, the um, Karl Lagerfeld one. We've used a soft blush, but we've really just patted it onto the brow of the cheeks for that natural glow. We use the Colorish, a nice natural color lipstick, but with enough of a gleam that it just gives you, a, just looks, makes your lips look nourished and plump. We've just tidied up the brows with a sweep of a fawny beigey color over the eyes and mascara. Now to some people, I know that sounds like a lot of makeup, but the no makeup look, the, the oh, I just woke up like that, still needs a product or two. Too. So there we go. Happy? Very. Ready for the um the school, uh, run. school run? Make those girls wild with jealousy. Mm -hmm.